The custom of assigning a birthstone to each month of the year began with the first century Roman historian Titus Flavius Josephus. He based his list of stones on the Old Testament breastplate of Aaron. Later in the fifth century, St. Jerome followed the sequence of the foundation stones of the New Jerusalem in the Book of Revelation. Both writers also referenced the signs of the zodiac. The sequence of birthstones in our modern day is as follows. January, represented by garnet, followed in order by amethyst, aquamarine, diamond, emerald, alexandrite, ruby, peridot, pronounced like that, not peridot in the U.S. anyway, sapphire, opal, topaz, and blue zircon. The alternate list is as follows. Rose quartz, black onyx, bloodstone, rock crystal, chrysoprase, moonstone and pearl, carnelian, sardonyx, lapis lazuli, pink tourmaline, citrine, and turquoise. In 2002, tanzanite was added for the month of December. I painted my virtual world avatar wearing each of the traditional stones. I also painted a series depicting the alternate stones. I use these in making commercials for my rock business, but have no further use for them. I am offering them for sale, or I will trade for rocks, minerals, fossils, crystals, or gems. You decide what they are worth to you. They were created on acrylic paper and canvas panels, and sizes range from 8 by 10 to 16 by 20. I am a self-taught folk artist who has sold one painting to an employee of the Guggenheim, several to the Nordic Cultural Institute of Seoul, Korea, and others to private individuals. My style is cartoonish and reflects the years I have spent in the virtual world. I enjoyed painting these pictures, but they need to find a home so that I can make room for new work. 